Chapter 7. We Can Work Together That night, Norman Osborne was alone at home. He read the evening newspaper. There was a story about the Oscorp people. They were all dead. Who did it? he thought. We did it. Who said that? You know, came the answer. Osborne looked around the empty room. Where are you? he cried. I'm right here. He started to understand. It was in his head. It was him. Ha ha ha, laughed the green goblin. This is only the start. Only one person can stop us. Or maybe he can work with us. And now Osborne knew. He was the Green Goblin. The Green Goblin crashed through the window of the Daily Bugle. Who takes Spider-Man's photos? He shouted. His hands were around Mr. Jameson. Suddenly, Spider-Man was at the window. Put him down, he shouted. But the Green Goblin shot sleeping gas into Spider-Man's face. Then he put Spider-Man on his glider and left the building quickly. A little later, Spider-Man opened his eyes. He was on top of a tall building. Wake up, Spider-Man, the Green Goblin said quietly. You're not dead, but you can't move. You are very special, Spider-Man. You and I are not so different, he said. We can work together. He jumped onto his glider. Think about it, he said. A week later, Peter went to find MJ. She came out of a building on Broadway. Hey, MJ called Peter. It's me again. Hi, Peter. Did they give you the part? asked Peter. They didn't like me, said MJ sadly. Let's go for a burger. You can have anything. Up to $7.84. MJ laughed. I'd like that, she said. Oh, but I'm going out to dinner with Harry. Come with us. No thanks, said Peter. MJ turned and walked away. It started to rain. She knew a quick way and walked down a dark street. Suddenly, four men were around her. She hit one, and then another. And suddenly, he was there. Spider-Man shot webbing at the four men. He pulled them back from MJ. The men hit him, but Spider-Man was stronger. The men ran away, and Spider-Man jumped onto a wall. He came down the wall head first. You saved me again, said MJ. You are fantastic. I want to thank you this time. MJ moved close to Spider-Man, and they kissed slowly. Suddenly, the world stopped. It was a fantastic kiss. On Thanksgiving Day, Peter was on Sixth Avenue. A tall building was on fire. My little boy's in there, a woman screamed. Spider-Man jumped up into the building. He saved the boy and gave him to his mother. Then they heard another scream. There's someone still up there, a woman shouted. Spider-Man jumped back into the building. Where are you? he called. Then he saw an old woman. The woman turned around. It was the Green Goblin. You, said Peter. So, Spider-Man, he said. Are we a team or not? Not, said Peter. 
No one says no to me, shouted the Green Goblin. He hit Spider-Man hard, but Spider-Man jumped and hit him back. Then there was an explosion. Spider-Man jumped out of a window and back into the street. MJ, Aunt May and Norman Osborne were with Harry at his flat. It was time for Thanksgiving lunch. Peter walked in the door. Sorry I'm late, he said. Everyone sat down at the table. Mr. Osborne looked very closely at Peter. Their eyes met for a few seconds. Then Mr. Osborne jumped up from his chair. I must go, he said quickly. I'm sorry, everyone. Harry followed his father out of the flat. What are you doing? he asked angrily. What about MJ? She's important to me. Harry, please, look at her. Beautiful girls only like rich men for their money. Have fun with MJ and then forget her. The others heard everything. Mr. Osborne left and Harry came in. Well, Harry, you didn't say much for me, did you? said MJ. Your father said some terrible things. My father's a great man. You don't know anything about him. MJ walked to the door. I'm sorry, Aunt May, she said. Then she walked out and closed the door behind her.